What is up everyone? This is Omega here. And with a little earlier look at uh, my comic book pickups of the week, I will have another one on Wednesday when I go and pick up uh, the new releases. But uh, like I said uh, last week, I couldn't get the new releases from last week until the next day. So I ended up, you know, waiting for that. And uh, so I do have the new releases here, but I also have some other little things uh, that came in during the mail and uh, something special that <laughs> I still got. So uh, I want to do this one because I got more coming in. And so I really, I probably should cut it up into uh, two different ones. So uh, this will be the one that's be on today. I have some that just came that I went during that uh, day of last week to pick up my new releases. Now I also bought some back issue stuff too. And then I also got something in the mail too. And then, uh, or two things in the mail. And, uh, but uh, anyways, like I said, we'll have another one on Wednesday when I actually go out and pick up some new ones. Uh, of course, I'm going to pick up some bag issues with some new uh, releases too. So we'll see what you know I grab on those days. And then I'll be getting something in too. So uh, anyways, let's get started here. Uh, I got four comic books that came in during uh, – I ordered from Goodwill again. Uh, so I, I like that place, uh, shopgoodwill.com. Uh, mostly if you can get to a uh, – a uh, center that's close to you. You could just uh, go up and pick up your uh, the comics that you buy uh, because the shipping itself is pretty expensive, like 15 bucks. It already depends on where it's at. So uh, if you buy something for like nine bucks, it's like 15 bucks. You're paying like 20 something over 20 bucks for it. So <laughs> uh, it it hurts you there. But uh, if you live close to one, uh, you can just you know change it to hey, I want to pick it up. Uh, so I go, go ahead and pick it up and you can get some for pretty cheap. So uh, anyway, let's get started here. I have uh, the first one is from Marvel, uh, the Silver Surfer Warlock Resurrection, uh, issue three. Let's see from there. Let's see if I can get the glare. I don't mind the glare too much. I thought that it would be a little bit better if I had, if I had it off, uh, but <laughs> uh, it was a little dark. So I think the glare kind of helps it with the light. Uh, reflection to it. So, uh, uh, anyways, uh, so I'll, I'll keep that. Uh, anyways, uh, next one is Red Sonia, the She Devil with a Sword, uh, issue nine. So that's pretty cool. Let me get that full picture there. Uh, next is Harold's. Uh, I don't know what issue issue one out of five. So there you go from Marvel. Get a closer picture like that. You get some look at that. The glare kind of doesn't help in this one. <laughs> this is a darker cover. So, our uh, next one is uh, X Men Prime. It's like a special event. So, with cool, it looks like a cool cover, like a harder cover in the top there with uh, Wolverine on the bottom there and Storm right there. And then, is that Storm? Yeah, and then Bishop right there. So, that was it from the Goodwill. I only got four comics this time. Uh, but, like I said, I did pick up some back issues from uh, my local comic book store, so we'll go through that and then go to a new issue, then a special comic book that I got from the mail. So, the uh, next one is Adventures of Superman, uh, issue 643, Sacrifice Aftermath. We're going to hear dogs barking now. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, next one will be Wonder Woman, issue 4. I'm, I'm missing 3, I'm, or is it 2? Either two or three. Uh, so this is the one before the newest issue. issue. I think this one's from like 2006. I think so. So uh, yeah. So I'm missing. I think issue two or three. I think I might have to put a new bag on this one. Uh, Cause I, I know it's self though. Uh, Ultra Pro. I got these Ultra Pro current size bags. Uh, I bought them at a different. Not the one I usually go to, but it's a different one, a comic book store. Uh, these ones are a little tight on the comic books. Uh, a little too tight, I think so. Uh, like I said, I like it to be tight, but uh, this one is a little too tight. It's a little hard to get in there, I guess. Uh, the one I bought from the different store, they were just about the right size. Maybe I should buy the ones that, the backing boards that come with this one, uh, but or the, the one that they sell at the same store. But like I said, uh, it's a little tight, but, you know, I bought 100, so <laughs> there's 100 uh, uh, bags, so I'm going to have to use them all. So I'm going to just keep using them until 
until I finish them, and uh, I probably won't buy them. The good thing about them is they're they're pretty cheap. They're about uh fix this first. About I think they were selling for five ninety nine. Uh, the ones I usually buy from the different one, uh, the different comic stores, like eight or nine ninety nine. So, uh, they're cheap, and I'm a, you know I try them out. I'm not a big fan of them anymore. I used to be a big fan of Ultra Pro when I used to collect like Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh cards and stuff like that. So I'll probably go on, I'm going to switch up to the one that uh, sells, not the Ultra Pro, but the other one. So uh, it happens. Uh, next one would be uh, X23 Target X. This is the, the sixth one, I think so. Yeah, six out of six. So this is the sixth issue. This is the last one for uh, the Target X uh, edition. That's a lot of glare. Let me get one of this TV off. May, may help the glare a bit. Oh, yeah, a lot better. Oh, okay, Power Girl, issue 23. Helps the glare a bit. With Zatanna on the cover there. Uh, Power Girl, issue 14. And I'm just collecting them all because the fact that, uh, you know, I already have most of them already. So, and it's only like 20 something issues, 26 issues. So, it's not too bad. Uh, Fortunately, my kind of my local comic store doesn't carry all of them, so I might have to uh, order them. Uh, issue Power Girl issue thirteen. All right, so I think this is oh this is one more one more back issue. Uh, World's finest Power Girl, a hundred and Power Girl uh, issue three. I think I might be missing issue two. I think so. I'm not sure. I need I need a today is going to be the day where I actually uh. You know, I bought an app for my uh, my iPhone where I could keep collections of my comic books. I'm gonna have to. Today's gonna be the day where I input all of them in there. I gotta do it someday, and might as well start today. So, I <laughs> so I don't you know buy you know the same comic book like I did with uh, Action Comics 903. I bought two of them because I was like, oh, I I don't think I had this one. So unfortunately, I did buy it, and you know now I have an extra issue of uh, Action Comics 903. <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, well, anyways, uh, uh, this one is Hinterkind, uh, the newest, uh, okay, now now we're into the new releases, or like the ones from last week. Uh, like I said, these are, this is the case that, this is the Ultra Pro one. It looks nice, though. I, I, I won't mind it, because, I mean, if you look at it, well, Hinterkind uh, 6, there you go. I heard some pretty good things about this comic book, so I do have one coming in so that's going to be one for our Wednesday uh, but uh, it does look nice on the comic because it's very thin and it looks really good as uh, for show if you're looking at uh, like something like this uh, you can see it has the little little more you know space in between the comic books uh, I, it, I just find it easier when you're doing you're using these ones the one that has a little bit more space uh, but I guess, uh, you know, if you're looking, you're using the Ultra Pro ones. And the Ultra Pro doesn't have the little uh, extra flap that you could flap over uh, that goes over this right here. So Ultra Pro has one more flap. And this one doesn't, so. Uh, but uh, it does look nice when you're looking at, you know, the sides here. It looks very nice and clean. It just looks like the comic book itself. You don't see the, you barely can see the backing board on the sides. You do see it from the top. But uh, that's it. And then... It, it does look nice, though. That's all I can say. But, uh, Hinderkind. Issue 6. Uh, let's see. From this one. I don't think this one's Ultra Pro ones. Yeah, you can see. If this one does have. It has a little bit more. Because this is the one that I got from the comic book that I usually go to. Uh, anyways, uh, Veil from Dark Horse, issue 1. I haven't read through this one yet, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, next one would be Batman Superman uh, Annual Issue 1. And this kind of covers in between the, the world's, I think it was what, World's Finest, the newest one. So uh, it does cover that. And like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of the artwork. looks okay. It's, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, next one is uh, Wolverine, X Wolverine and the X Men uh, issue one. 
I read the, a, a part of it, uh, a bit of it, I should say. Uh, I just couldn't get into it that much, so uh, I might have to reread it again, and hopefully, you know, it gets gets better, and maybe, you know, as I, I, I might have to buy the next one, and then hopefully it does get better. I just couldn't get into it. Uh, next one will be uh, Magneto. Issue one, I haven't read it yet. I'm going to be reading that soon, which is... There's like the first scene when you know you see this guy just like standing there and he's like this and then there's like a bunch of poles going into him. That was pretty cool. That's magnificent for you. Uh, next will be X Men Battle of the Atom issue one, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool cover. And I liked, I like the I kind of skimmed through it at the comic book shop, so uh, it was pretty cool having to see all these you know different. X-Men <laughs> show up, and that was pretty cool. Uh, Batman Superman issue 8. I, actually, this, I think this is the one that covers into, uh, kind of goes into mm, the world's finest. I think it was this one, not the annual. I'll do that for you there. And the last thing is I just got in the mail today. That's the reason why I'm making this video here. Uh, and, and, and to kind of soften up for next week, uh, it's pretty cool. I've been searching for one, and it's a it was a pretty cheap comic book to buy. I wasn't really looking, to, you know, to spend a whole much for it. And of course, it is a CGC for uh, Action Comics Superman issue six eighty four. And this one kind of goes into, and it's nine point of course. It kind of goes into. Uh, the death of Superman. So uh, there was uh, the one, one more that one again. I think it was the six eight three, uh, but that was a little bit more expensive. And I'm like, oh, I might as well just go with this one. This one was pretty cool. So yeah, this is my first CGC comic book. Uh, this is going to be a special for me. <laughs> so that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to like trying to get some signed ones uh, because I just want one of that signed and then. Uh, what I was going to do was buy a, a CGC comic book from, uh, you know, every Justice League member. So, you know, next would be like Wonder Woman or or uh, Green Lantern or Batman or something like that. But it really depends on the price, uh, what the price is. I don't really want to spend too much. Uh, Batman ones are a little bit more pricey because it's Batman. <laughs> and then... Uh, I think other than that, yeah, I think Batman was the only one that was pretty pretty expensive. It's hard harder to kind of look in, and mostly for the ones that I kind of wanted, it's a little bit more pricey. But sometimes you just have to pay for it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't have much. This is pretty a small grab. Uh, I do have some. I almost dropped my PS4 controller. That would suck. I dropped it once already. So, uh, but uh, what was I was talking about? Yeah, not too much this week. Uh, like I said, these were just from last week, the new issues from last week. I'll be grabbing new issues from this week on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully they have it this time. Hopefully nothing gets delayed with snow. Uh, shouldn't have snow. It's like 40 degrees right now outside in Minnesota here. So <laughs> it's pretty nice. Uh, I, was, I was walking my dog the other day with shorts on, so that was pretty cool. So uh, I'm pretty excited for spring to come to come back so I don't have to worry about the roads and stuff like that. I can actually go to the comic store. Without having to worry too much about that, and uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'll you know just go ahead and uh, I always say go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys like any of my videos. Here I do in the realm of video games too, uh, and comic books of course. Now not comic books, but they're more just towards you know what I pick up for the week. Uh, nothing. I don't think I'll be reviewing comic books. I don't think I'm in that realm yet to where I can want I want to review comic books and I kind of want to you know get caught up maybe a few years down the line I'll start doing that but as right now it's just comic book hauls and stuff like that you know whatever I pick up uh, I'll be just be showing you know doing a video for that but anyways uh, I'm talking too long here uh, anyways go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, as always uh, like my videos like my videos go ahead and add a comment or put out in the comments if you guys uh, want to you know just I was, I'm always looking for different, you know, genres of comic books to read, uh, different, you know, heroes, superheroes, different, you know, different comic books. I would like to see what you guys, you know, read, what you guys, you know, what I can go and pick up 
uh, and see and try to pick up. So, uh, like always, uh, I'll see everybody uh, Wednesday this uh, in like two days here. So, <laughs> uh, peace.